This week, the conservative outlet, The Daily Caller, actually did a report based on anonymous sources, which I thought Republicans hated, but apparently it's okay when their side does it. But anyway, anonymous sources close to Donald Trump spoke with Daily Caller reporter Diana Glebova about what Donald Trump is looking for in a running mate and even went as far as to lay out some of the candidates that the man is considering. Some of those candidates include Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia, Elise Stefanik of New York, presidential candidate Nikki Haley, Republican Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders of Arkansas, Christy Nome of South Dakota, and of course, Carrie Lake. But it's not just that he's looking at those specific people because he has criteria, according to these sources who spoke with the Daily Caller reporter. Those criteria include, as one of them put it, uh, loyalty. That's the necessary characteristic of anyone who wants to be VP. President Trump and the movement was dragged down by the, by disloyalty in the White House. Dragged down by disloyalty in the White House. And I can only assume that that is of course referring to Mike Pence, who the only time he disagreed with Trump was when he said, I'm not going to break the law and overturn the 2020 election results. That, um, I guess, dragged down, as this person said, the Trump White House. So got to look for somebody who's totally willing to break the law, I guess. I mean, you know, that's the only way I can take that, but it's not just the loyalty. You got to have the look. We do know one thing about Trump is that he puts a lot of weight on how well you present yourself. That really matters to him. So I suspect that will matter for his VP choice. They added that he's looking for a running mate who is quote, TV ready. Now, out of all those names I listed, the only one who really comes across as I would say TV ready by Trump's criteria would probably be Carrie Lake. I mean, she literally has television experience in her resume. That's, that's actually all her resume is. So, I mean, she, you know, she puts on that filter. So she looks better on TV. She's not an ugly person. I mean, her soul is absolutely her policies, her beliefs, her attitude, absolutely an abomination, but Trump doesn't care about that. Like he actually likes her policies. He likes her talking points. He likes all that crap. What he likes more than anything is a decent looking face. And I think Carrie Lake fits that bill for him. Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yes, yeah, she's done plenty of TV interviews, but she doesn't come across as likable in any way. So I wouldn't necessarily call that TV ready. Sarah Huckabee Sanders, of course, very loyal to Trump, but definitely adversarial when it comes to being on television. She does not do well and has not since her time with the Trump administration. So that's not going to win you any voters. Christy Nome fits Trump's criteria of not being a cave troll and also being TV ready, uh, which is ironic because about like six months ago, I was saying, keep an eye on Christy Nome. She could easily be Trump's pick, especially because she just won re-election last year. So she wouldn't be uh, uh, in a position to not have power and not run again if she becomes Trump's running mate and loses. She goes back and would still have two years in South Dakota. So that's a plus for her being the pick. Technically, you could say the same for Sarah Huckabee Sanders, but let's be real here. Trump is going to pick a woman. And the reason for that is because one of the big issues that's going to be in next year's election, culture war issues, specifically abortion. Trump understands that Republicans, or I think the people advising him understand that Republicans took a shellacking in 2022 because of Roe versus Wade being overturned, followed by Republicans passing all these abortion bans. Even in red states, abortion bans that were on the ballot failed. Women are mad at the GOP for very obvious reasons. Trump thinks he can negate that by just putting any woman on the ticket because in his mind, women are dumb enough to just vote for a woman because, oh, well, it's a woman. So I guess he's okay. That's what Trump thinks about the voters. We'll see how that works. Didn't work out well for John McCain, but you know, we'll, we'll see if that plays out for Donald Trump. But another source here says Carrie Lake is definitely off the table. 
This is a GOP official, again, anonymous in the piece, says, what I will say is that it's BS that's always floating around is Carrie Lake. Carrie Lake will not be his VP pick. I don't think Marjorie Taylor Greene will be his pick either. Yeah, Marjorie Taylor Greene's not going to pick you up any voters that you don't already have. And in fact, it's probably going to turn off voters who might be on the fence. Carrie Lake, honestly, you could probably say the same thing about her. She only appeals to the MAGA hardliners and couldn't win in her swing state of Arizona. So the likelihood that she would bring anybody new to the ticket is slim to none. But so far, she appears to be the only one along with Christy Nome who checks every box that Trump is looking for based on this piece. We could see weird things happen. We could see it be somebody not on this list. Josh Hawley's name is one that's floating around, possibly Tom Cotton. Who knows? But if Trump has his way, he's going to pick the one that he personally thinks is the prettiest. And we'll see how that plays out. Hey, everyone. This is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.